This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their awesome products in the links below. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome to Project Cars 2. Now surprise, surprise, Project Cars 2 is the upcoming sequel to the original Project Cars game and is due to come out at the end of next month. Luckily for me, and I guess for you guys as well, I had a word with Namco Bandai and they're willing to send me over a press version of the game for me to give my initial thoughts on. You might have seen yesterday I put up a straw poll as to what car I was going to drive first on camera. Here are the results of that straw poll now. As you can see, the Toyota GT1 won by quite a margin, which is rare for the Toyota. And to sort of drum in the Toyota incompetence just a little bit more, I'm going to be driving at Le Mans. The race will be a free lap race against the AI on 105% difficulty and all the AI are the same class as me which is the LMP900 class. Now this video isn't going to be an in-depth analysis of Project Cars 2, more just a first drive and an initial impressions. Maybe a review will come later on but uh, I'm not comfortable really with doing something like that whilst we're on the press version of uh, Project Cars 2, which uh, to my knowledge anyway, is actually quite a way behind the current build. You may notice by the way that I'm actually wearing different gloves in, uh, in this video. These are Feel SR1 sim racing gloves, which are sent to me to sort of test out, hence why I'm wearing them today. Uh, I might do a video on them eventually, but just so you know why I'm not wearing my usual OMP gloves. But I'm bored of myself talking, I'm sure you guys are too, so let's get on and do our first ever race in Project Cars 2. Right then, on board in the Toyota GT1 for our first ever race in Project Cars 2, feels weird saying that. Manual rolling start now, I've got control of the car, I've got a Ferrari 333 to the left of us and two V12 LMRs in front. There is the green light and very clumsy start here at Le Mans as <laughs> getting brake checked big time by that BMW in front but we're okay through relatively unscathed that poor Ferrari behind has got a bad start but here we are then three laps now through this long sweeping right hander into T1 we then break uphill into the Dunlop chicane nice and slow first time through 24 cars all vying for the same piece of tarmac so about to be a little bit of contact every now and then but trying to avoid that as much as we can because mer immersion underneath the Dunlop Bridge. Fun fact, there's lots of graffiti on the inside of that. I've, I've been there before, so lots of graffiti on the inside of that Dunlop Bridge. Now down to the S. It's just going to hold third gear, front of the car, really not wanting to respond as an early point in the race. Tyres scrubbing quite a lot at the moment. Now up to Touch Rouge, don't want to be on the inside here. Air has to cut in quite late, so that can cause a bit of contact. And now onto the straight. Going to be in the slipstream with this V12 LMR on the way down. Hopefully get up to... Uh, a decent speed in the sit stream this car will do about 210 mile an hour or so it's pretty damn quick in a straight line for something that isn't a prototype here we are getting that sit stream now there's a car behind us as well are we going to go three wide into the first chicane i really don't want to go back out that nice and early so the car right down first time through oh big punt in front gg that audi s round audi off to the right as well audi's suffering left right and center somewhere in the world stephen bailey is crying out of a second chicane there lost a bit of a sit stream in front which is a little bit of a shame but we'll keep going we'll, we'll, we should be able to get that back again and uh, i guess what i should talk about in this video more so is how this feels as a sim racer on an osw now i know there's this weird fallacy in sim racing where if it's difficult it's sim if it's easy it's not and i know people are probably going to apply that to this video because they're going to see my feedback on what i feel this game is at the moment and not be happy with it which is fair enough but hear me out um, I want every game like this to be good. The more games we get to play as sim races, the better, because we have quite a niche hobby as it is. But having something be that little bit more extreme, uh, they, they, come, they come along fairly rarely. More so than they used to, but fairly rarely, you know. So it's nice to have a game that come along and sort of say, well, you know, we're going to try and base it more on simulation than on arcade. And uh, Project Cars 1 had that same attitude of doing that. Of saying, okay, yeah, we're going to try and be a sim now and try and come away from the arcadiness you get on most console races nowadays but it didn't really fulfill that promise and project cars 2 unfortunately is much of the same whilst there is some improvement in the fourth seat back although i can't say if that's down to my wheel or not i used to have a t500 now i've got an osw fourth seat back feels like it has a little bit more detail but it's still fairly vague i'm not quite getting all the detail i want there for example i had no idea the tires were about to lock they just sort of randomly did I say about to lock. No idea it, the, the car was about to slide. You tend to feel that and foresee that when the car's about to slide. It just sort of did it there. And I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. I'm going to blame that for the contact and not my bad driving. Um, so that, that's one part of it as well. 
And also, it took me a very long time to get this wheel set up again. I know I'm using a press version of the game, so maybe that's just how the game is or it was on this version. But, uh, oh, okay, rear end of the car really trying to kill me through there. Um, again, that was a visual. I didn't see that happening. Ferrari going less than 100 miles an hour through there. Interesting. Um, but it took me a long time to get the wheel set up to, to feel anywhere near decent. And I actually had to get help off Gamer Muscle, who also um, has a press version of this game, before I can get the wheel feeling you know, where I felt it was almost consistent. Before that, it felt like it was really inconsistent, very wonky indeed, which is why I actually tweeted out yesterday that the full feedback felt weird in this game, because it did. So it does a little bit, to be honest. Um, and whilst the strength of the force feedback is there, again, could be down to the wheel. And it loads up in the correct places, especially in this car. This is a high downforce car, so we're not as high as modern prototypes, but still has a decent amount of downforce. You expect the wheel to load up in certain places, and it does. But through the low speed stuff and through uh, the very high speed stuff, um, the, the feeling isn't quite there for confidence. Through low speed stuff, you're doing a lot of it through vision and what you expect to happen as opposed to what is happening. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Through here, for example, going through here in third gear, I have no indicator that I'm going too fast or too slow until I'm mid-corner. That's when I start getting the full feedback telling me that, okay, now you're starting to understeer a bit. Now you're starting to scrub in the front. And by then it's too late. The, 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 it's too late. The, the corner's already ruined by that point. So it, it's sort of hard to describe. Uh, I'm using the, the raw full feedback, which is apparently uh, recommended for the OSW. But again... It could be better, and I'm hoping that it will be better in the final build of the game. Let's talk about AI, because you've already seen them do some interesting stuff in this race. Um, and that continues to do interesting stuff. There's another Audi off to the right. AI, again, better than Project Cars 1, but still not where I'd want them to be. You'll get them doing some very interesting stuff, some very late moves. They like to try and take your racing line quite a lot if you fight them too, too closely. It can be quite scary. Now, I've actually got the I've actually got the AI down on, I think, 40% aggression. But they still want my blood. <laughs> I swear to God, they still want me. And sometimes it gets... Oh, and you see with each other, they're always pu pushing each other around, it seems. There's always some sort of instant... If the AI nets each other in the corner, one will kill another one. And that'll be the end of it, which is a, uh, a bit of a shame. You also saw at the start of the lap, or the start of the race, they're very hesitant. Uh, or maybe that's just down to the aggression setting, but it seems to work in that function where the AI is not being aggressive on the first couple of laps to avoid an incident, but then when they're racing each other, like that, as another car gets punted off in front of us, they'll just do whatever the hell they like, and that weirdness will happen there. It's, it's, it's very odd, very odd indeed. Now, in terms of looking at the game, you're currently seeing the game on 100%, 60fps, 100, uh, 100 everything on Ultra because 1080 Ti is best Ti, and it looks all right. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm only driving it in sort of midday settings, possibly the most boring visual settings to look at right now. But I remember looking at the first Project Cars game and being absolutely blown away by the graphics. I'm not having that same that uh, that same thing here, you know. And I know that these games aren't necessarily about graphics, but graphics are sort of what Project Cars is best known for, I think. When you take that away, you end up having... I mean, what is it known for now, you know? It's... It's hard to tell. Of course, what, what I'm saying here, all these little points I'm making are completely my first impressions, you know. It may be that I have some more tweaking to do. It may be that the press version is behind on the current version, but I think I might have said it already. Why would you give the press version out if it's bad? <laughs> you know, it, th this has some representation of the final product, if not a very large one, that so Bentley goes around the inside there and just hangs on on the outside. That's something else as well with the AI. I've noticed a couple of instances of fake grip. You know, I might look like I was going very slow through there. That's about as fast as I can comfortably go through there with this car on this setup, which I have to adjust quite a bit to make it drivable, by the way. Um, sometimes the AI seems to have more grip than you and can do things like go around the outside and it look easy. And that is a little bit worrying. That's the most worrying thing, I think, to see sort of AI cheating. Because that's the thing that's going to break your emotion the most and make you feel the most annoyed with the game. Anyway, last lap now, and again, I, I don't want to come across as being negative because I really want games like this to succeed, AI, just, I mean, I sort of love tapping the way through there, but when, it just, it just seems that the game hasn't learned enough from the first Project Cars, you know, we, we have the same sort of thing with um, the hype train being built, you know, all the names coming on telling us how good the game is, but 
again we're being sort of left to the fact that it is just a game i still see it as sort of maybe a crossover between like gran turismo uh, and a, and you know a, a, tr a traditional sim maybe like rf2 or i racing this sort of sits in between that and it hasn't really moved from the days in, in, in its project cars days now i haven't tested stuff like tile wear i haven't tested stuff like mechanical damage and bits like that maybe we can do that in another video but um i wanted to just give you guys my sort of first you know really literally my first initial impressions of of the sim like through it another car off dead there through there breaking into that chicane i don't really have much feeling when i'm getting down to about third gear getting to low speed initial turning I, I can feel what i'm doing i can feel what the car is doing i sort of expect um no i know what to expect through there the car again this is the gt1 toyota it has quite a bit of downforce not the same as modern prototypes but still enough to get us through corners like that and not worry about it too much but it, um, it's it's sort of hard to feel that sometimes. I don't have any confidence in the brakes at all, which is why it's been braking so early. Even with uh, the brake bias quite a bit further back, I'm still locking the front. I think our standard this thing has 60-40% uh, brake bias to the front. I actually took it down to something like 50-57. And I'm still struggling quite a lot, although going much further means the car just doesn't turn into the braking zone. Oh, we've got BMW behind us. He's, he's gaining quickly. Is he going to punt us? Yes, he is. There you go. Example of AI there. And I've got a fast car approaching flag. Well, I'm not being lapped, have I? I don't think I have, unless the AI has gone insane at the front there. Maybe it's just the traditional sense of the uh, the blue flag, where it's just to let you know there's someone behind you who's going fast. Oh, I'm going fast. Look, this BMW seems to have infinite speed out of somewhere. I'm going to stay it on the left here. Try and give him room. Let's see what the AI does here, shall we? AI has got AI is the one attacking so he's got to slow down i'm gonna try and slow it down nice and easy oh car slides big time and we are around our first spin in project cars too so it isn't all easy although as we said difficulty doesn't necessarily mean sim clav a gear please there you go and as i said i'm i'm a toyota i can't do <laughs> i can't race at the mall without without fluffing it up that's the toyota way you know got to make sure it's the realistic toyota simulator bit of a shame that i messed up i got a little bit too deep going to indy but the thing is, it all feels so vague. It all feels so vague. Yeah, that was my mistake, 100%. But, you know, like, there's a chance I could have saved that and have some sort of in uh, understanding what would have happened after that. I just don't quite have that in Project Cars 2. Not at all. It's not there as a Toyota there. It takes a big swipe at me. Lucky doesn't, isn't able to make it stick. Again, front tyres really... Feels like I'm almost driving like a four-wheel drive car through here, the way it understeers. See, big... Come on. I think there's not a lot of grip offline, it feels like. That might be the culprit there. But there you go, guys. They are my initial impressions of Project Cast 2. Am I going to get killed by a Toyota right at the end? Get a Toyota on Toyota violence? Yep. <laughs> Through it goes on the inside. Push me wide. Cheers, mate. Oh, my God. What an awful end. You know what? That's the best place to end this for Toyota because... <laughs> I don't know, guys. I was expecting more from this. I honestly was. And it's sort of a little bit disappointing. My driving wasn't... <laughs> okay, I, AI, whatever. My driving wasn't the best there. I'll, I'll, feel, I'll freely admit that. And again, I've only really put in a little bit of effort, a little bit of practice to make sure I'm semi-competent around this track. And I don't know, uh, I'm obviously not still at this point. But the um, there's just not enough information being given to me as a driver, especially of an OSW. I know it's not a typical bit of hardware, but this thing... Uh, once you've driven an OSW, you understand the amount of detail it is able to give you. And just, there is a severe lacking of that so far. I'm really hoping um, once we get to the sort of newer versions, that's fixed, of course. Again, the press version being an older version of the game. But uh, so far, uh, I'm not blown away, which is a real shame because I really want it to be. But anyway, guys, there are my first impressions on the Project Cars 2. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. And let me know, guys, what you want to see in Project Cars 2. I'm not the type of person that's going to sit here and review it and analyse it in every detail. I'm going to drive what I like or what I enjoy. So if there's something you guys want to see as well, let me know and we'll see if we can make it happen. Cheers for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.